You have to let me go. No. The ropes are too loose. I'm pulling you with me. You have to let me go. Come on, there's only two people in this entire movie and they're both white. Cancelled. Wait a minute, wait a minute. White people dancing? Uh, no thank you. Cancelled. Way too many white cisgendered British men in this movie. Cancelled. At the beginning of time itself. Yes. So the universe... Getting smaller and smaller. Just because Stephen Hawking was white doesn't mean you had to cast a white actor to play him. Hello, Jamie Foxx was available. Cancelled. Let me through! Let me through! What are you doing? I get through! I have to see Colonel McKenzie. I'm sorry, the white to person of color ratio in this historically accurate movie is absolutely unacceptable. Cancelled. Oh my god. Just when you thought Hollywood couldn't shouldn't possibly get more woke in the midst of lockdown they have solved every problem on the planet with a new set of absurd rules to win an award that nobody cares about in fact james Lindsay, uh our conceptual james on twitter perfectly summed it up when he says uh after variety tweets out these new rules to qualify for no one caring about your stupid bourgeoisie meaningless or bourgeois meaningless awards, accept yourself and your bourgeois fart sniffing friends do this. To qualify for best picture, films will need to meet two of four standards. You can see here, finally good news. Goodbye Wes Anderson, Greta Gerwig, and Quentin Tarantino. The comments are very telling. People are absolutely okay with never seeing a black or Latinx person in a film. We have watched decades of movies with no other actors except white. And folks making comments are okay with that. Trump is... <laughs> oh my god, you knew it's gonna get to Trump. You knew, you knew they were gonna bring up Trump. Even I was sick. I was like, oh, it's only gonna be better if all of a sudden this person brings up Trump. And there they go. I'm all for diversity and believe representation matters, but I don't think it should be a checklist or a requirement for awards. They should add a new Oscar for most politically correct and woke film and leave the existing award alone. So Dunkirk and 1917 and Saving Private Ryan would all be ineligible this year. Let's look at the requirements. Standard A, on-screen representation, themes, and narratives. To achieve standard A, the film must meet one of the following. A, lead or significant supporting actors. At least one of the lead actors or significant supporting actors from an underrepresented racial or ethnic group. Can't, what if the film, I mean, do you think Wes Anderson is because his films star the same six white people all the time that I don't know. There was, um, the guy from Royal Tenenbaums. Uh, wh why can't I think of his name? Danny Glover. Wasn't Danny Glover in that for the most part, Wes Anderson films are, are white folks in it. Uh, so that's not okay. But t a Tyler Perry movie, which features no white people, that's okay. I don't understand. A2, at least 30% of all actors in secondary and more minor roles are from at least two of the following underrepresented groups. Women, racial or ethnic group, LGBTQ, or people with cognitive or physical disabilities. Three, the main storyline, theme, or narrative of the film is centered on underrepresented groups. So the, the this is, if you thought... If you thought that this was going to be that Holly, that Hollywood films were going to get, you know, we're going to focus on high quality instead of, you know, literal check marks. Imagine, imagine that there is now probably somebody who gets paid full time to be like a diversity checklist person. By the way, if you haven't already. 
please consider subscribing on my YouTube channel today. Nearly 40% of my viewers are not subscribed. I cover a wide variety of topics, so I hope that you'll consider hitting that red subscribe button right below the video today. It, it goes a long way to help you find the channel, find my newest videos, and I'd really appreciate it. Leader significant supporting actors, we saw that. Where's the four? Oh, standard B, creative leadership and project team. Creative leadership and department heads. At least two of the following creator leadership position and department heads must be a woman, racial or ethnic group, LGBT. Or How do you even prove this? What about men that just identify as a woman? Does that count? You must also have paid apprenticeship opportunities that are exclusive to women and LGBTQ people. Here's what some Hollywood actors should do. Make a movie about like World War II, uh, a platoon, have it all be it all white, but played by all gay actors. That's how you do it, boys. You make 1917 or Dunkirk, but you have it played by gay men. You get all the check marks and you, and you still get to represent an accurate historical image. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you should just hire the best person for the job. Uh, you know, I'm no expert. Obviously, I don't work in Hollywood. Uh, I'm not infatuated with young children. Um, you know, I, I'm not a Hollywood type. But some people in Hollywood are, are pushing back. You know, Kirstie Alley slams new Oscar diversity and inclusion requirements. This is a disgrace to artists everywhere. You people have lost your mind, the actress tweeted on Tuesday. They announced Tuesday that a new set of requirements for films to uh, to be award eligible in an effort to increase representation force it in Hollywood. And it's safe to say Kirstie Alley is not the least bit thrilled. Ahead of the fifth, fifth anniversary of Oscars So White controversy, the Academy and its limiting best pictures and nominees, beginning with 2024 slate of entries, to those who can meet requirements that encourage equitable representation on us. It doesn't encourage it. It requires it. By the way, imagine making your movie with the goal of winning some stupid award. I'm sure that real filmmakers don't give a crap about this. Kirstie Alley quickly this is a disgrace to artists everywhere. Her tweet, can you imagine telling Picasso what had to be in his effing paintings? You people have lost your mind. Control artists, control individual thought, Oscar Orwell. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad take. Hours later, Ali tweeted that diversity and inclusion should be taught so well and so naturally and genuinely that it becomes second nature to our children. Well, kids are. Kids do. It does come naturally to kids. When I was young, nobody cared about any of this stuff. I'm trying to find the original tweet. Oh, you deleted it. Oh, Kirsty, no, no. I deleted my first tweet about the new rules for best movie Oscar because I feel it was a poor analogy and misrepresented my viewpoint. I'm 100% behind diversity, inclusion, and tolerance. I'm opposed to mandated arbitrary percentages relating to hiring human beings in any business. Well, it's unfortunate that you had to walk it back, but this is the world where you live. The star was met with heavy criticism from her followers, with a majority taking shots at her acting career. Well, sis, given your career, or lack thereof, this won't impact you. Another question. Interesting take considering most of the films you've acted in are overwhelmingly white. Are you concerned about the lack of opportunities? You know these rules help you as a woman, right? Studios tell who to put in the movies all the time. Don't worry, a little inclusion won't keep, won't be what's keeping the Oscar statuette off your mantle. One person criticized. I mean, look, if you imagine telling Tyler Perry that he had to have a percentage of white people in his films. Why? What's the point of this? Is it to advertise torrent? So everyone, oh, my Annie. Annie agrees. I don't know if you could hear that, and I was just talking to myself. 
but I'll probably leave it in the video. Absolutely absurd. And it's so funny that, like, these people have the dumbest priorities. Imagine you force these things on people. Then the audience is going to know, oh, is this a, could I have gotten a better actor? Could I have gotten a better electrician if I didn't, if I wasn't forced to hire based on an arbitrary set of uh, personal characteristics? Could we have gotten a better movie if, if uh, the director didn't have to take somebody who is substandard just to fill a checkbox? The fact of the matter is this, and this is an inconvenient truth that I'll end, uh, that I'll end on that my viewers are smart enough to know. All these quotas and stupid checkboxes to, to tick assume on one fallacy. They exist on top of one provable lie. And that is that two candidates in, in any situation are exactly equal. When you talk about hiring, oh, well, if, if, if it's all the same, you could just hire um, a person with, uh, you know, uh, you could hire this color person instead of this color person. Uh, to check a box and, and, and say yay for, you know, diversity and inclusion. Yeah, okay, I'd agree with that, if that were true. No two candidates for any one job are exactly the same. And if you think they are, then you're not asking enough questions and you're poor at hiring. If you want to make the argument that it's a menial job, like uh, somebody who refills the Twizzlers and the actors' green rooms, okay, maybe you can make that argument. When you're talking about skill positions, you're not asking enough questions if you think two candidates are ever the same for any job. And that's how stupid these people are. They've never actually hired anybody. They've never really assessed talent. And all they're concerned with is getting likes and retweets and awards that nobody else cares about. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.